Now, one of the more difficult aspects of driving and one of the more dangerous aspects of driving is turning right at traffic lights. Now, there are two different scenarios that you can encounter at traffic lights. That is, a green light with a, with a green arrow or a green light with no arrow. This particular set of lights does have the provision for an arrow, so when the lights turn green, we should be able to proceed safely. Okay, the lights have turned green with a green arrow, so we can go. You notice the cars opposite us are waiting, they're on a red light, so it's completely safe for us to go. Now this next set of lights also has a green arrow, so when these lights change to green, it'll be completely safe for us to go as well. Okay, the lights have turned green and there is a green arrow, so it's completely safe for us to go. Coming down to traffic lights again, this set of lights does have the green arrow. We get past this laneway on the right and then we indicate. Now the car in front has stopped over the white line. That's illegal. If you do that in your driving test, you will fail. Okay, lights are green with a green arrow. So we can go safely. Just following a safe distance behind the car in front. A two second gap is what's considered safe. Coming down to the next set of traffic lights, we're turning right. This particular set of lights does not have a green arrow, so we cannot proceed safely if there is traffic coming the other way. Now in this particular case, there is traffic coming the other way. We go out halfway and we wait just before this, this painted diamond on the road, and we wait until it's safe to go. Now there are cars coming, and we're trying to see past these cars that are opposite us. Because we can't see, and we're not 100% sure it's safe, we just wait. Now it's safe, and we go. In this particular case, I'm going straight to the left lane because we generally drive in the left lane. To get to the left lane, I just had my right indicator on and I went directly to the lane of my choice. Now this set of traffic lights ahead does not have an arrow. So when it's time for us to go right at this corner, we have to go out halfway and wait for the traffic. Okay, we go out roughly halfway. As you can see, there's a painted diamond on the road in front of us. We don't drive in the diamond. We sit here with our wheels straight. We wait for it to clear, and then we go. I'm gonna go directly to the left lane. I glance across to my left just as I go across to make sure that no one's pushing into that lane. Now, this next set of traffic lights does not have an arrow. It also doesn't have a painted diamond in the middle of the intersection. But when the lights turn green, we'll go out halfway and we'll wait for all of the traffic coming towards us to clear. We must wait for all of that traffic. That's the traffic going straight ahead and the traffic turning left. If there was a car turning right and that was the only car, then we could proceed at the same time as them. But for now, we'll wait for all of this traffic. We'll wait about here, roughly halfway out, with our wheels straight. Okay, the road is cleared, we can go straight to the left lane. Now we're going to turn left at the next street. But just glance at the road in front of us. There are lines painted on the road to show that there are actually two lanes where you can turn right from. Okay, we're going left so we won't worry about that. But if anybody was going, going right at those lights, they would have a choice of one of those two lanes. What that means though is that they must stay in their lane for the entirety of the turn because there will potentially be traffic in both lanes. Okay, up ahead there's a merge point. How do we know that? Because there's a sign in front of us saying form one lane. And the lane divider, the paint on the road there, runs out pretty soon. So we check our mirrors, we check our central mirror and our right mirror, we indicate to the right and we check our blind spot to the right. And then we gradually drift across into the one remaining lane. Then we cancel our indicator. Note the traffic lights ahead. There's a red light and a red arrow. 
when those lights change there'll be a green light and a green arrow the traffic coming towards us in the other direction will be still facing a red light so the two cars to my right the grey car and the blue car will be able to go straight away quite safely on the green arrow because of the green light we can go straight ahead Go, a green light and a green arrow. As you can see, we're going straight ahead and that traffic's turning and the other traffic facing us is stopped. Okay, the lights have turned green, there is no arrow. We come out halfway, almost out to the diamond on the road, and we wait. If we're not 100% sure, we don't go. I can't see past the cars in front of me, so I don't go. Alright, and I'll happily wait here until the lights change to amber and maybe change to red if it's not safe to go. But I'm still not going to go because I can't see. Okay, now I can see past that car and I'll go. Okay, coming down to traffic lights with no green arrow. So we drive into the intersection stop halfway until it's safe to go. Okay, that car turning is still a fair way away from the corner. We can go now and get around safely. I'm turning right here at these traffic lights. And this set of lights has no green arrow. And there will be traffic facing us. We can see it all coming down the street now. But when the lights change, I'll go out halfway just before the painted diamond on the road in front of us and I'll wait until it's safe. Now because that SUV in front of us is now going to turn right, that's blocking my view. So I'll have to go out there and wait. There's also a four-wheel drive behind it. So I'll more than likely have to go out there and wait. Even after all the traffic that I can see has gone past, I'll still have to wait because I can't see past the car. I need to be 100% sure I'm 99.9% .9 sure that's not good enough. So I move across, pretty much level with the grey car in front of me, but I still can't see past it. Okay, that car's gone, there's still a four-wheel drive blocking my view. There's a smaller car coming around now, now I can see. Okay, I'll go. I'll go straight to the left lane. set of lights does have an arrow. At the moment it's a green light with a red arrow, just changed to an amber, so I'm going to stop. Now you'll notice in front there's some painted lines on the road. It's not a diamond, which you would normally see at traffic lights, but those lines are there to guide me and the cars opposite me as to where we should turn the corner. So when I turn the corner I'll go between that solid line that's the closest to me and the broken line. Now you can see the lights have turned green, but there's a red arrow, so I can't go. Okay, it's a green arrow with a red light. That means that the car coming towards me also has a green arrow. We both proceed at once. We both go to our side of those lines. That way we keep out of each other's way. Okay, once again coming up to the merge point, but we're not changing direction. The cars in front do indicate because they are changing direction, we don't. We check our central mirror, our left mirror, which is our left blind spot, and if it's safe, we just continue in a straight line. Now we're turning right at these traffic lights. These lights do not have an arrow. So we have to go out halfway and wait until it's safe. Lights have turned green. We'll go out here, we'll keep our wheels nice and straight, and we'll wait right here. Now I've positioned myself so I can see down past the car in front. It looks safe, and I'm going. Now from the, the view that the camera had, it probably looked like a dangerous manoeuvre, but from my position in the driver's seat, I could see past that car quite a distance, and I could see that it was clear. Now here's a pedestrian crossing the road that we're turning into. 
Okay, if that pedestrian was a little bit further back, we would wait for him. Because he's crossing the road that we're turning into. Okay, once again we stay half on the brick pavers, half on the road. Watch out for this guy, he doesn't realise that he's actually standing on the road. We need to get back over here because we've got a car coming the other way. So it's quite dangerous driving on this street because, as I said, the pedestrian don't know that the brick pavers is part of the roadway. Okay, coming down to this set of lights, we're turning right and there is no arrow. Lights have changed. I'll go out here and I'll wait halfway. The two cars turning so I can't see past them. Okay, now I wait for these cars. If the lights turn amber, I still wait until it's safe to go. This car's turning the corner. The lights have turned amber. I must wait and see what that guy does. He's waiting, so now I can go. Okay, the lights have changed to red as I went around, but that's okay. Because when I enter the intersection, the light was green. The guy going past me now, he was behind me in the intersection and went around on the red light. If he was doing his driving test, he would have failed because he must have waited, he should have waited, behind the white line until I was definitely going. Now you'll notice up ahead, there's a vehicle parked facing the oncoming traffic. That's illegal to do that in Joondala. If you park your car facing the oncoming traffic, you will be fined by the local ranger. I know it's legal in the UK, but it's illegal in Australia. So when you get your licence, never park facing oncoming traffic. Okay, here we are on Grand Boulevard, two lanes each way, it looks like a main road. The speed limit is 50. Now we're turning right at the traffic lights. These lights don't have an arrow. The car in front should go out halfway and wait until it's safe to go. We will stay behind the white line because only one car at a time is allowed to wait in the intersection. So the car goes out and waits. I wait behind the line. I make sure he's going and then I go. The reason I make sure he's going is because he may have made a bad decision and have to stop halfway around. If he stops and I've already gone past the white line, then I'm stuck out there and I'll fail my test. Now in this case, I want to turn right very soon, so I'm going to go straight to the right lane on my left indicator. Now we can see up ahead that there's a green arrow and a red light. So all of that traffic is going around on the green arrow. It's still green, it's still green, it's still green. It's turning amber now, but I'm committed, so around I go. I'm going to turn right at the roundabout, so I stay in the right-hand lane. Okay. I'm entering the road, I want to turn right very soon, so I go straight to the right lane. I'm going to turn right at these traffic lights. This set of lights does have an arrow. I think I may get here too late and miss out on the arrow. I'll probably have to wait here for a couple of minutes. Okay, we've got a red light and a green arrow. Go straight to the left lane, just glance across to the left, make sure no one's going in this lane. Okay, coming down to these lights, these lights do have an arrow. Okay, green light and green arrow, meaning the traffic facing us is waiting safely go around the corner. Okay, coming down to this set of lights, there's no arrow, so when the lights change, the car in front of us should go out halfway and wait, and we should wait behind the solid white line. Just to make things more complicated, there's a little bit of rain around. But it's important that you get practice in the rain as well. Okay, lights are green. The 
car in front goes out halfway. And they wait until it's safe. They should be a bit further out. Once they've decided it's safe to go, we can go. So we go out halfway and we wait till it's safe to go. Yep, it's safe to go. We can see quite clearly that there's no cars coming. Okay, turning right this set of lights with no arrow. Okay, lights have changed. We go out halfway. We can't see past the four-wheel drive. Lights have turned amber, we're waiting to see what this traffic's doing, it's stopping, so we can go. Okay, light turned red as we were going around, but that's okay, we haven't broken any road rules. We were waiting until it was safe, and then we got out of the intersection. Because we entered the intersection when the lights were green, we didn't break any traffic regulations.